What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl Keisha and I am here with an all new episode of Behind the Scenes T. I have a bunch of news for you guys. First up, Power Book 2 Ghost is currently filming its third season and Stars has announced that I don't even know how to pronounce this man's name, so I'm not going to even try to. But if you remember him, you saw him on The Wire. Um, The middle guy is Kyle Vincent Terry, and then the young lady is Caroline Chikizi. Child, I'm sorry if I said this lady name wrong. They will all join season three of Power Book 2 Ghosts as recurring cast members. The first guy from The Wire will play Ron Samuel Jenkins, a.k.a. RSJ, a Howard University and Harvard Business School alum who grew up working class and built his own legitimate empire that has firmly entrenched him among the business elite. Now, 50 Cent went on a hunt for this actor. He posted like about him several times before he was able to link up with him. He really wanted to work with him and get him on one of the power shows. And it seems like this tactic worked. It's going to be really good to see this um, guy back on uh, a cable drama series. I know that he has continued to work since The Wire Um, So I'm excited to see him back on screen. Now, Kyle Vincent Terry will play Obi, a young man schooled in Britain who knows his way around a gun, but is equally comfortable in a boardroom. Oh, I like that character. I wish that the first guy would have played that character, but maybe he doesn't have a British accent. Anywho, so Caroline will play Noma, a worldly and powerful woman with a regal presence who has built her wealth with an illicit global empire and is not afraid to protect it by any means necessary. Mm, They're really taking this plot line up this upcoming season. We got a lot of new players coming in. So I can't wait to see where everything is going to go with season three because they are up in the ante and I'm here for it. When baby mamas link up now in this photo, from left to right, you will see Brittany Mealy, who is the future's, well, one of future's baby mamas, Mimi, who is the baby's first baby mama, Drita Star, Javante's baby mama, Ari Nicole, Adrian Bronner's baby mama, and Shanice Tyria Ace Hood's baby mama. And they are up to something. They film something together. Um, On this picture, it says, it's the women empowerment for me. Today was a great day surrounded by dope women. I can't wait to see what they all linked up for. What will they be discussing? It seemed like they had a very intimate conversation. This is very, very interesting. What y'all think they was filming for? A new reality show? Commercial? panel i don't know but i'm excited to find out what this is child who has not been watching candy from real housewives of atlanta's spinoff show candy and the gang her aunts and her mama are literally the stars of this show especially aunt bertha and aunt nora well take a look at this video of aunt nora and church honey Singing down. on on nor you better praise the lord yes ma'am no wonder her niece on last week's episode was like you a church woman (laughs) because we see 
that Honora got two sides of her. We got Christian or Baptist or whatever Honora, and then we got Ghetto Street Aunt Nora. Well, I wish when her and her sisters recently sat down with Candy to do an episode of Speak On It that she had channeled Jesus that day because Aunt Nora is a liar. <laughs> Anora is a liar child Anora puts 10 on 20 Take a look at this video Anora pisses Aunt Bertha off and all hell Breaks loose This cannot Get over and most Of my nephews and My nieces that I talk with They cannot believe That Two people had the whole Kim Keep her from hitting me. Kim was gonna get you. Yes, she she was standing back. She wasn't really Kim gonna get you. Yeah, they were holding you. her with all they nice and she was just. I will hold her. It'll come up. It'll come up. Yeah, it's gonna be seen. We were there. Yeah. I think it's probably worse to us, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's like. I hope quick. they don't show none of it. But mm -hmm. you know, the thing that everybody think is funny is like you had the argument. You guys. Every, you know, the argument happens. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what happens next? All of us go and eat chicken together. The thing, my thing is... They go here. Yeah, you can go here. That, yeah. My it thing is, go. it is gonna go. It's, it's going. going. It's going. We've had arguments when we was no. throughout life. And hey, we but get right back Let cool. me tell you, you cannot not. talk to a grown person. That's right. Like a grown person, a child. So what I felt like Kim was defending herself, okay? I'm same. through with it. I'm gone. Oh, I didn't even want it to be that. Well, I am. Oh, y'all. It's not that deep, y'all. Seriously. Yeah, that shit don't even make sense. Yeah, keep bringing it, bringing it's it up. It's really not. It's not that serious. It, it's not serious. The point of the matter is, okay, it's my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know it was going to be that deep. I was just trying to explain to y'all that it's really not going to be that big in the show, for real. It's not. We have to move on because we're family at the end of the day. Yeah. But so. you got to pray over it and just let it go. I yeah. pray every day about it. So what was the next question? The next question is, um, uh, hold on one second. Let me see. <sighs> you said what? You okay? I'm fine. I ain't going back in there. All right. It was Joyce trying to shut Nora up for me, child. All that tapping on her thigh that she was doing. She saw where this was going. Aunt Bertha was not here for the bullshit. If you do not know, Kim is Aunt Bertha's daughter. Kim was the one that got into it with Aunt Nora. And Aunt Nora was blatantly lying, acting like Kim was the aggressor when it was actually her that was the aggressor. So... I would do the same thing if I was Aunt Bertha. Like, heifer, I don't give a fuck if we sisters or not. You're not going to sit up here and lie on my child. You too goddamn old for that bullshit. You were the aggressor in the situation. And I'm not going to sit up here and let you talk bad about my child when I know my child wasn't the one that was in the wrong. So, child, these sisters are a mess. Candy said that after that they, you know, made up and everything. But <laughs> Candy just puts herself in such awkward and uncomfortable situations when it comes to her aunts and her mom because she's always I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry instead of saying I'm sorry how about you start telling them when they're wrong instead of you taking the blame for everything that's a dysfunctional family over there but they make for damn good television Aunt Bertha was ready to box Aunt Nora though she was ready to go. You can tell back in the day they used to throw hands. <laughs> you can tell. I know it might be the oldest, but Aunt Bertha looked like she used to get with Nora's ass. And Joyce was the, the little sister that, you know, was running in behind them, getting into trouble, being mischievous child. They are a mess, and I am here for the foolishness. Candy and the Gang is a cool show, but what would have been even better if they would have just given the aunts and Joyce a show. Very Golden Girls-esque. Baby, that right there would have been everything. Put them in a house somewhere in Florida. Have Joyce and Nora out there dating, honey. That would have been 
everything. They need to make that a show. Our girl Karen Huger has officially gotten her spinoff show titled Karen's Grand Dame Reunion and it is set to debut this April on Bravo. The trailer is already out. It looks so good. Oh my God, I'm so happy for Karen. She deserves this. It's going to be so good to see her extended family, see them trying to figure out who's going to take over running their family farm and to how they're going to keep it in the family this looks so good this is such a big accomplishment for her and i'm just so elated over on bmf stars has announced that funny lady leslie jones will join the cast of the hit series bmf in a recurring role for season Two. The first season of BMF debuted as the number one premiere on the Stars app last year and ranked as one of the most highly engaged series premieres ever. Jones will star as federal agent Tracy Chambers Smart and calculating Chambers knows how to maneuver the bureaucracy that comes with carrying a badge. Years on the streets facing the most dangerous drug dealers have shaped her into a formidable hard charger. She suffers no fools and has a wicked wit to back it up. Of course she does. This is going to be so good so happy to see Leslie Jones in a dramatic comedy role. We don't really get to see her that much on film. So this is going to be so dope. She's going to add such a flair to BMF and spice it up for season two. Are you guys excited to see Leslie? What you are looking at is a picture of Viola Davis as Michelle Obama in the upcoming Showtime series, The First Lady. The series also stars Michelle Pfeiffer and Gillian Anderson as First Ladies Betty Ford and Eleanor Roosevelt in the limited series from showrunner Kathy Shulman. The First Lady is a Relevatory reframing of American leadership told through the lens of the women at the heart of the White House. In the East Wing of the White House, many of history's most impactful and world changing decisions have been hidden from view made by America's charismatic, complex, and dynamic First Ladies. This series will peel back the curtains on the personal and political lives of three unique enigmatic women tracing their journeys to Washington through interviews interweaving storylines with an enlightening intimacy with season one focusing on Michelle Obama, Betty Ford, and Eleanor Roosevelt. Now we all know that Viola Davis is about to act her ass off. She gonna give us that good snot cry. She gonna give us a good yelling at somebody child and cussing them the fuck out. She gonna give us them goddamn WWE arms <laughs> and shoulders that Michelle Obama got. You know Viola is about to act down and I cannot wait I'm actually also excited to see Michelle Pfeiffer as well on screen because she's one of my favorite actresses I cannot wait for this to debut on Showtime can you believe that Matthew Knowles said that he saw what Will Smith did for King Richard and he now wants the same thing done for his own biopic. The former Destiny's Child manager merged his Music World Entertainment Group with APX Capital as part of a $275 million film and TV fund to make it happen. Fans will get to go behind the scenes to see Destiny's Child, Beyonce, and Solange's rise to fame with never-before-seen footage, pictures, and songs. Wowzers. Wow. I'm only going to watch this if, if Beyonce promoted and say, y'all go watch my daddy documentary by because other than that, they all cut him off as they managers for a reason. And you know, he has been holding on to everything Destiny's Child because he is the manager of that group um, and making money off of it any way that he can. I'm not going to take away his accomplishments as their manager because he did a lot for that group. He took them girls from literally two little brown girls in Houston to international superstars so he had a business savvy he got them girls together but if we gonna do a documentary sir Matthew are we gonna talk about how you was over there slanging your dick and had two babies on Miss Tina I still to this day want to know do Solange and Beyonce have any type of relationship with their half brother and half sister I really want to know like 
do they just not acknowledge them? Like, what is the T on that situation? How is Matthew as a father to those two children? Because let me tell you something. Koi knows if you have not Googled her, Koi is a problem. And that name is everything for her to be a star. And judging by the way things are going, baby girl, <laughs> she going to be a problem. And if he is smart, he will take her and do what he did with Beyonce and Solange because that little girl is so pretty and so charismatic and she could have easily by now been a Disney or Nickelodeon star so hmm, like I said I'll only be watching this if Beyonce give us the go ahead because I will not go behind the queen's back and put money in her daddy pockets girl you gonna be in your ass I'm not gonna lie you, you, you think so I promise you you think you got right I'm gonna travel over right I'm gonna drag your big ass bitch and they wanna show you wanna show but you can't get it over here bro I'll make one bitch he tried to bring it towards my direction and it wasn't given that I was really gonna back up the chair scoot it back in and do. Yeah, but he didn't want to do that, so I kept a cute and lady like. They want to steal the show, but it ain't gonna happen. Talking about they the king and queen, but how the hell you? How the heck you the king and the queen when you broke and you the lowest paid that's out here? Make it make sense. It's y'all. This they only last gig, honey. I'm tired of those low budget people coming for me, and then they got the trailer park trash. Authentic. Bitch, when you got real money, we don't rush stuff like this. Rihanna and gave them to me. Uh-uh, that's fake and insane. Rihanna gave them to me. Fake and insane. Your booty came from, uh, your booty came from Walmart. Still don't have, honey. Real shit. Rihanna gave me these. Rihanna, do I need to call Rihanna? Call her. Don't make me call Rihanna now. Don't, don't, don't do no lies now. Don't start name calling, because we don't want Zeus to look bad when you name call. Bitch, you are not famous. You are not known. Coming out no damn heart. Talking about what a money reside, what a money. Bitch, please. I'm not going to argue with you because I'm going to beat your ass. Please. I'm not going to argue with you because I'm going to beat your ass. You put this over her. You see these big old... Lord have mercy, James is getting into it with everybody. He gonna get his ass beat. <laughs> Our night series premiere of Bad Boys is going to be off the chain. I will be sitting on ready. I cannot wait to watch it. This is going to be a hot ghetto mess and I am here for the foolishness. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Behind the Scenes Tea. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Bye.